this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. Oh, where are we now again, hun? Hun? <laughs> you talk less than Tuan, hun. Oh, look at that. Well, let's go spend some money, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! You're coming! Yeah! Coming to Wilms? Yeah! So, gonna be able to run into the truck without hurting the tractor now or run into the trailer? Run into the truck, I hope not. <laughs> <clears throat> I should have got a video when you had it on the front of the tractor because there's gonna be six or seven people probably that are just lost as to what that is. Still think it would look better with pipe? No. Made out of pipe? I'll do a vote thing here then. So this is a nose guard. I'm gonna go on the 5020 here because the issue we have with this tractor, it's longer than the 4020 is, so the frame is right there, but the nose is swoopy. So when you come up to the side of the trailer, our rack sides there to grab the bales and you reach across to the other side, you got a tendency to just barely rub against the uh, the rack. So, the 4020, as you know, has a big nose guard, so that's what we're making here. Dad wanted to make it out of pipe, and I wanted to make it out of flat bar. So there's the flat bar. Antoine's playing with a horn over there. Here, we'll have a vote. Up in the top right corner here, I'll figure out how to do it. What would look better, the flat bar or pipe? That's not fair because they don't get to visualize what the pipe one's gonna look would have looked like. No one can visual. It would have looked awesome because it would have been gold plated. Gold plated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you learning how to weld? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see much out of that right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go over here. See what Amanda's up to. Oh yeah! Look who's back. We rehired him. He was out at a year, uh, an English dairy farm with the woolly woolly cap milk and cows, right? Sure. Right? Sure. <laughs> no, he had a nervous break, so he had to go find himself. He was at one of those places where they have orgies or whatever they're called, yeah. out in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, over here, all kinds of pieces everywhere so remember the fuel tank was leaking it uh, they had a fault with their casting here and it was rubbing on it and it eventually rubbed through so that smoothed out and what we're gonna do is put a little layer of silicone on here well, actually no not silicone to change our mind this is pipeline tape and it's like rubber real thin and we're gonna put a little layer of that here after to get this all cleaned up and I'll give the tank a little bit of a cushion that way so Antoine's bringing it to the neighbor who's braver than we are and he's gonna weld on the fuel tank. He's done it before and he says he'll do it again. So like Antoine said, they'll only blow up once. So, <laughs> so he's gonna re-weld that crack for us. And uh, me and Antoine yesterday, I guess it was, he got the injection lines off and I got the air filter and what have you out of the way. So you can see all the mess we've got to clean up in and around behind everything here. And I'm gonna put a new turbo seal because it's blowing smoke everywhere under the hood. And uh, so on the return lines, they use uh, little rubber T's, eh? Like if you're familiar with these tractors, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can find them. Tuan sold some canola, so he splurged and bought a new coat at the old PV Mart. There's the little rubber things, so. And these Jesus clips go on here and here and here. And how well does a Jesus clip work, Tuan? Awesome? Or about as well as Trudeau? Those blue splice things there. The what? As well as those blue splice things there. Blue splice things? Yeah, yeah. I, know those, yeah I know. And you clip it through and it just cuts the wires. Yeah. Those are good. 
So those are ranked right up there with those in our book. So all they do is leak. So we're gonna put these little 3 8 hose clamps on them everywhere. I ordered new rubbers. Those were new last year and we got the tractor, but they're already cooked hard like a rock. So I'm gonna put new ones again, but with, here they are, hose clamp this time. And then they might not leak. And if they leak, we're gonna fire them again. Fire them and I'll keep his wheat that's here. <laughs> More tough wheat that we can't dry, yep. So anyways, that's the plan with that. And Amanda and I went to Princess Auto last night. She's over there cleaning up a storm. Bought a parts washer and some other stuff. We'll go over here, she'll show us how much she likes the part washer. You gonna ignore the camera? <laughs> you having fun with the parts washer? Demonstrate how it works. Flip the switch. Oh wow, look at that. So that's full of arsol in there. And she's been cleaning away here on the filter housing. She's got it all done, so. I'm gonna bring her some more parts again. And then I'll show you how the nice, how the parts washer works. Right, hon? <laughs> you talk less than Antoine. <laughs> Smile a bit. <laughs> Oh, nice. Look at how that comes off of there. Anyways, that'll be a nice purchase because before I was washing everything with a five gallon pail of gas and uh, the brushes, so this is a lot better. Oh, and what are you doing? You're gonna play in the car? Okay, here. Yep, go around the door. You gonna go rob a bank there with your welding mask on and your getaway car? Pia. Pia. Sophia, are you gonna go rob a bank? Yeah? <laughs> okay, have fun. Show us how you drive. Can you drive? Can you drive? Look. What? You gonna take it off? Yeah, take it off. Okay, there. Drive your car. Drive the car. What? <laughs> okay, anyways. And. All this has to get cleaned yet. It's all black with soot from uh, leaking around the turbo here. You can see everything's all black, so I'm gonna be doing that by hand here with the brush in a bit, but I'm gonna have to get uh, some cardboard out or something. I've been slacking on the videoing here. I've been a little bit stressed out and preoccupied trying to deal with the uh, wheat and whatnot but we have the pan off and some caps because we are going to put uh, I'm gonna put bottom end bearings in here it's got whatever 11,000 hours in it and uh, don't know if they've ever been done and you can tell when you work it hard and then throttle back when it's warmed right up the oil pressure does come down not a lot but enough so for what that costs to do I'm gonna put a bottom end in it and uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan. So I guess I'm gonna get back to work instead of just walking around so Amanda doesn't yell at me. And uh, I got something outside here I'll show you in a few minutes too. Look at that new addition to the farm. <laughs> it's a uh, 1948, I believe. Massey Harris 44 gas. We have another one exactly like it out in the pasture and it's one of the original ones to the farm when uh, they were getting into tractors. So, And uh, we used to actually have two and the one that's out there is one that stayed and there was a second one that had a blade. This one also used to have a blade. So I uh, 
it was on Facebook and the guy was saying, oh, make an offer. Doesn't need it for anything, make an offer. He bought it for parts and it wasn't right. So well, I just asked him uh, what all was wrong with it and he figured the motor was stuck. And, oh, well, whatever. I said, uh, what do you want for it? He says, trade me uh, five hay bales for it and I'll deliver it. And I said, oh, how about four hay bales? <laughs> so I traded four hay bales for it. So uh, here she is. It needs one rim. It's real bad. I don't know if it sat with the... I think it sat with a flat tire and that sat in the mud and the water for a, a long time. But uh, I think I know where there's a couple of rims actually. So this is another project. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to get work done. Hopefully this winter I want to try and get it running and then just have it for a little, you know, fuck around tractor. I've got a little 7 inch PTO auger that it would work just perfect on. It has no hydraulics and uh, 540 PTO. Don't need hydraulics on it for anything, honestly. And uh, figured the motor was stuck. Well, Rob, he's gone now, but came over. And we put the hand crank on it, and he jumped on it, and she fucking broke free or turned over anyways. So put the uh, booster cables on her, and just twirls over. So not going to be very hard to get going, I don't think. The uh, tire on this side is real good. Front tires are decent. It's just that one tire in that rim that's not the best. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of a fun little project. It's got the flywheel on it yet. Our other one does not have it anymore. And our other 44 also has the steering and everything from, uh, I think Dad said a 55. But, uh, yeah. So that'll be pretty cool to get going to one of these days. So I guess it's kind of a quick little update of what's been going on around here lately. I'll get another video out here right away of the uh, working on the 46, a whole video about it. I just didn't think you wanted to see cleaning parts for two days straight too badly. So <laughs> when we start doing more, I'm going to start painting stuff on it right away. And I uh, figured since this guy was here now, with two different sized front tires I just noticed. <laughs> oh well. Since I was here I'd show it real quick. But uh, yeah, I guess there's one more project for you guys to look forward to. So make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and get the notification bell on so you know when I put videos up. Leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys in the next one.